The coronavirus isn't just affected our health. In addition to its impact on public health, coronavirus disease 2019 has caused a major economic shock. The coronavirus has changed the job market. The global outbreak has seriously impacted the economy and job security. Many countries are experiencing economic recession and million of people in different nations losses jobs. In United States of America itself there are 10 million people, who lost their jobs within a two-week period at the end of March in 2020, according to the Department of Labor. While, a total of 81% of the global workforce of 3.3 billion people have had their workplace fully or partly closed. Welcome to Juan's Info Break. Through this blog, let's explore the jobs and industries who hit hardest by coronavirus pandemic. Number 5. Manufacturing and Production Industries the manufacturing sector is a major part of the economy as it accounts for nearly 16% of the global GDP in 2018. As a result, the government across the countries primarily focuses on encouraging the manufacturing sector. Due to the epidemics of COVID-19 across the globe, the manufacturers of the automobile, chemical, electronics, aircrafts, aviation and process manufacturing like food and beverage, pharmaceutical and medical equipment, among others are facing concerns regarding the availability of raw material. In the electronics sector. Smartphones and consumer electronics companies have commenced a reduction in production operations and postponed the introduction of new products coupled with the COVID-19 outbreak. Smartphone makers like Xiaomi and Realme have postponed launches of their upcoming smartphones in India last March 2020 due to the nationwide lockdown. In China, the country where the virus originated, accounts for nearly 85% of the total value of components utilized in smartphones and nearly 75% in the case of televisions. All critical components, such as printed circuit boards, mobile displays, LED chips, memory, open cell TV panels, and capacitors are imported from China. Most of the Chinese factories were shut down due to the coronavirus pandemic. Number 4. Small to medium business owners. Have you planned to start your own business this year 2020 or you already have a small business but later on you shut it down due to the pandemic? Yes, many small and medium business owners also felt a great sadness and regret over how that loss of revenue affected their employees. Some small businesses may close because they're in industries, such as accommodations, food service, beauty and wellness like salons and gyms and educational services, that are affected by changed customer behavior, especially the physical distancing and mandated operational restrictions that began during the pandemic. Since the authorities are advising people to stay home, a lot of small business owners are forced to close because they don't have customers at all, especially those businesses who offered services like beauty salons and gyms. Other small businesses may close because they were already at risk financially before the crisis. Number 3. Service Workers a month into the COVID-19 pandemic, many jobs are adapting and adjusting new routine like working from home. But not all workers have this option, especially for the low-wage service sector workers responsible for providing the food and basic home necessities needed to keep society going. Service workers are some of the most at risk for both of eliminating jobs and putting workers at risk of infection. When we talk about service workers, it includes a broad range of occupations, like those who works at department stores and malls, such as food servers, salespersons, security guards and janitors, that typically involve on-site duties or face-to-face -face interactions with a lot of people. Because of the widespread temporary lockdowns of businesses, it is impossible for many of these workers to perform their job duties. 
In addition, sectors such as retail, food service, and arts entertainment have provided gateway jobs for younger people getting started in their careers. People working part-time or seasonally, like working students who needs a job in order for them to pay their own tuition fees, since not many students are supported by their parents, and people with lower levels of educational attainment are including in these sectors. These industries face immediate risks from the pandemic, resulting in a set of vulnerable workers with a distinct demographic profile. Number 2. Event Planning and Management do you have a plan to attending a concert, live performances or sport events? But unfortunately this was suddenly all cancelled because of the coronavirus pandemic worldwide. When we talk about events, we're talking about public gatherings such as conferences and exhibitions, corporate events and seminars, promotion and fundraising, trade shows, or music and art performances, product launching and it also includes small events like school reunions and weddings. Those businesses directly related to the organization of mass events are facing tough times. Due to the coronavirus pandemic, many international events planned to take place in 2020 were postponed or cancelled, including the Summer Olympics in Tokyo, the Cannes Film Festival or Coachella Festival. Why is event industries are important? Well, the meetings industry supported 2.5 million jobs. The global events industry, representing over 26 million professionals and also 93% of senior-level business managers said that face-to-face -face meetings improve their ability to close deals. A survey conducted by PCMA on business events professionals showed that 87% of respondents cancelled their events, with 66% of those being postponed as a result of COVID-19. But there are some events and meetings who continued working on, with the use of today's technology. The same report provides that 7 out of 10 businesses have switched their events to a virtual platform. And Zoom is one of the dozens of video conferencing services, has risen to the top. Daily downloads of the Zoom app have increased 30 times year over year and the app has been the top free app for iPhones in the United States since March 18, according to Bernstein Research and Optopia. Number 1. Travel and Tourism Industries Undeniably, travel and tourism industries are one of the hardest hit industries by COVID-19 due to a worldwide travel restrictions. During the outbreak of pandemics, almost everything connected to tourism is affected. Airlines tour operators, travel agents, attraction sites, car hire, restaurants and hotels have all been adversely impacted. All businesses and service providers along the tourism value chain including the farmer who supplies vegetables to a restaurant and a taxi driver who shuttles tourists from the airport to hotels are all affected. As a result of massive cancellations of flights, tours, events, hotel reservations and a resultant decline in inbound travel, hotel occupancy rates and average room rates have dropped sharply causing unprecedented declines in profit margins. According to a report by the United Nations World Tourism Organization, estimated that global international tourist arrivals might decrease by 20 to 30% in 2020, leading to a potential loss of 30 to 50 billion dollars. Tourism is a critical sector of the international economy. In 2019, the tourism sector accounted for 29% of the world's services exports and about 300 million jobs globally. It is an important source of income and employment for developed and developing countries. International tourism is among the economic sectors most impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. The United Nations World Tourism Organization estimates a loss of 850 million to 1.1 billion international tourist arrivals and $910 million to $1.1 trillion in export revenues and 100 to 120 million jobs have been lost in travel and tourism sector due to the pandemic. We've just seen the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic to our jobs and careers. But there's a key question, even in a best-case scenario, how many of the jobs lost to COVID-19 will be lost for good, or at least for a long time after the economic reopenings? We can say that this pandemic is the worst thing that has ever happened to humanity, we are waging at war but we do not see our enemy, and still a big question when will it end, but I believe that humanity will rise again, let us hope and trust. Thanks for watching Wands Info Break. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe and follow the channel for more informative contents.
Have a good day.